All right, so let me show you how to create a super realistic handheld look inside of Blender. First of all, you need to download this Cam Track AR app, and I think it's only available on iOS, but you can check on Android as well. So next, you just need to find a surface with some nice high contrast and then click this icon in the bottom left corner to set the floor plane. And then you can also use the second icon in the bottom left to place a marker inside of your 3D scene. And then you can simply hit record and record a few seconds of video. Now remember, we're not really going to use the video, we're just going to use the camera movement from this app. Once you're done, just hit record again to stop the recording and then click on dismiss. Now the CamTrack AR files will be saved on your phone, so you need to transfer that to your computer. Now inside of Blender, we need to install the add-on that comes with this app. You can either use the .py file that comes with the files that you transferred, or you can download the add-on from the website. I'll leave some links down below. Once the add-on is installed, click on File, Import, hit Film AR Tracking Data. Then browse to the folder that you transferred from your phone and import the HFCS file. Now this will basically import your camera and also the tracking marker that you created inside of the app. You can see all the keyframes on the camera here. Next, select the camera and go to the output properties here on the side and set the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Now click the camera icon to look through the camera and now you can see we actually see our camera movement. So let's see how we can scale our camera so we can use it in a bigger scene. So create a new empty object, just a plain axis. Select your camera, shift click on your 3D marker and then shift click on the empty. Now right click, go to parent and object to parent the camera and the 3D marker to our new empty. Now you can simply move and scale the empty to move your camera around. Now add some objects to your scene and there you have it, a super realistic handheld look inside of Blender. Check out my other online courses at ruanlotter.com and remember to follow me on the socials. See you next time.